All right, it's, what time is it? It's almost four in the morning. I've been up since midnight. And uh, let's go ahead and knock out the whole video. <laughs> what are we starting with? We're starting with Spider-Verse 2 from, I believe this is from what, 2015? And uh, the rap on this is that Spider-Verse 2 from 2015 has the first Spider-Punk cover, supposedly. Even though I single-handedly debunked that when I showed off a copy of Amazing Spider-Man Volume whatever from number, I think it was 14? I forget, I forget. I forget, but it was one of those amazing Spider-Man covers, and uh, it had the head of Spider-Punk, like, way off into the corner to where the text was covering the film, <laughs> covering the head, but it still counted. I single-handedly debunked this, but uh, you can say it's the first full appearance on this cover here. So uh, follow me on IG. I am working to be the greatest Instagram thought of all time. Help me in that quest. All right, what's next? What's next? What's next? Uh, how much did I pay for this? How much did I pay for this? Uh, Spider-Verse 2, I paid... Uh, I got this for cover price. Paid cover price for that. Saw it in the bins, and I was like, okay, I'm on it. All right, what's next? What's this book going for? I've seen copies sell for... What around, okay, so the last one, when I did a search, sold for 30 bucks with $5 shipping. Okay, all right, respectable, very respectable. I like this, I like this a lot. All right, what's next? Some more Spider-Man jank. Uh, what is this? Ultimate Comics, all new Spider-Man number five. So this is the First time Miles Morales wears his black and red costume in story. Now, it's been on a lot of covers up to this point, but in story, which uh, I guess that's a big deal. In, in, in story, that's a big deal. Okay, I'm done with that. Uh, I got this for 20 bucks. It, it turns out I only had one other copy of this, so I figured... I don't know if Miles Morales becomes an even bigger deal. I'll have uh, another copy, and this it's it's in nice near mint condition. Okay, uh, so these next few books here I picked up for uh, it was like a twenty five percent off sale. And uh, what is this? Marvel Age one fourteen now. I'm typically super cheap when it comes to Marvel Age. So, what is this? 25% off. I got this for $7.50. And the reason why I bought this book, Marvel Age 114, one is because you have a Mark Bagley, John Romita cover. I like this. I like this a lot. We have two Spider Man greats collaborating on a cover with pretty much uh, all of the major Spider-Man super bad guys up to this date. And in the background, you have an early, early carnage. Early carnage. So I like this. So this is like a few months after he uh, premiered in a Spidey, amazing Spidey, what, 360? Is it 361 or 365? I forget. <laughs> Probably 361. But uh, yeah, I like this book a lot. Uh, pay, you paid seven fifty for it. Why not? It's a good looking cover. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Anyway, moving on. We got some more Spider Man going on. We got more Spider Man. Uh, we found two copies of Web of Spider Man number one nineteen, where he takes where the Scarlet Spider takes on Venom. Uh, these were, what, a, a dollar a piece minus 25%. All right, it's all good. It's all good. Not bad. 
What's next? We'll do some Star Wars. Ob Star Wars Obsession number two with... Is that Dirge on the cover? We don't see a lot of Dirge. I would love to see a live-action Dirge, wouldn't you? That would be pretty interesting. I'd like to see a live-action take on this, on this character. Let's look up Star W-A-R-S O B S E S S I O N two. Let's look up Obsession two. See what it's going for. Uh, I mean, newsstands are doing a little something. Let's see what they're selling for. I had to whip out the iPad and boop. Oh, okay. I mean, respectable. Around ten. Around ten to twenty. So averaging $15 for a direct edition. Okay, all right, I dig it. I like it, I like it a lot. All right, what's next? Uh, Darth Maul number three. There's something going on with this book, I forget. $2 minus 25% off. Uh, let's do, oh, you know what? I got some more Marvel Ages. I got one more Marvel Age. So we've got uh, number 36. I, I, I think because of the, um, the Daredevil Woman Without Fear variant, this cover here is doing something. So let's look this book up. Mar-V-E-L-A-G-E, -E, Marvel Age 36. Let's see what this book is going for. I know this is, book was doing a little something. Just a little, what the hell? Oh, stop it. Stop it. Let's see what it's actually selling for, shall we? And look up recent sales. Okay. All right, okay, so around, so this was what, $2 minus 25% off. All right. Okay. So, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you tend to... I don't know. <laughs> uh, what's next? Oh, we got some more Daredevil going on. We have some more Daredevil. Uh, we found two copies of 310, first cover appearance of Calypso. All right. It's all good. It's all good. So, these were, what, $2 a piece, uh, minus 25% off. And... Is that... Why does that look like Omega Red? I know it's not, but uh, it just kind of looks like them. Uh, 311 for $2 minus 25%. Okay, all right. I forget what uh, Daredevil 310 is going for. I forget. I forget. If anything, I just know the book is really tough to find. You know what I'm saying? Like, really tough to find. Okay, now here are some really cheap first here's a really cheap first appearance um i found this for a for a dollar a piece and uh so we have heroes for hire number one i forget what year this is from so but it's civil war so it has to be what 2000 what 2007 -ish? 2007 ish i think and this is the first appearance of the new tarantula. First appearance of the new tarantula. Uh, crap, I forget her like actual name. I want to look it up. Do I do, do I dare look it up? T U R A N T U L A M A R V E L. And let's see, tarantula. What's her first? What's what's uh uh boo 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 first appearance of the new tarantula, Mar oh Maria Vasquez, okay. First appearance of Maria Vasquez, okay. Our, um, this book doesn't go for anything, but I figured. You know what? They were a dollar. It's a first appearance. Why not pick it up? Now here's the book. Here's the book here that I am the most excited about of this 25% uh, off sale that I went to. And uh, so this was, this store here was the store from a couple videos ago where I had like one of the best days of shopping in quite some time. I, I, I kind of cleaned them out a little bit, but there was still some to scoop up and 
uh, for 25% off. Why not? I, for, I don't know how I missed this the last time I was there, but we have G.I. Joe, European Missions number three. Look, 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 look. So this is my second copy. And ever since I had found that first copy, I had I'd been wanting another one. And uh, so European missions number three, beautiful, beautiful snake eyes in storm shadow cover. Love it. And uh, when you are buying this book, you got to make sure there is the poster inside. And here it is. Mini poster. It's, it even says mini poster like that was even necessary. But uh, yeah love this book love this cover this I, I this is a cover i don't think too many people know about but uh i'll share it with y'all i'll share it with y'all so we got this for five dollars minus 25 percent off whatever i'm not doing the math in my head because it's early in the morning or late at night depending on your perspective okay what what's next what's next uh ooh. Okay. Uh I went to another store a couple days later and uh, I didn't find much, but I did find this. So we have Tommy Serial Killer. This cover was wild. So apparently this is from uh Creature Entertainment and uh look at this cover. I don't know what it was about it. It just made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah and uh apparently this is a one in ten variant and i could not find a lick of information on this like i i checked uh comic Cron to see what was up with it and you know just to check the print run maybe see what the print run was on this to try to find like an idea of what the print run blah, print run was on this variant just to get an idea and uh nothing i could not find a thing on tommy serial killer all right it's all good uh what's next what's next uh we got some more star wars so crimson rain number one and number two the raza variants okay it's all good it's all good uh featuring the knights of ren all right and i also found Superior Iron Man number one, Scotty Young variant. And this here, this here, this here is a uh, first appearance of something, something, something armor. <laughs> I forget. But uh, okay, now a lot of people are thinking that this is, uh, this is. Uh, uh, Riri Williams, but this pre this this book here actually predates Riri Williams. I want to say by about a year. So I'm guessing that this character here is Leela Rhodes, uh, which is uh, Rhodey's daughter. I mean, not daughter, but uh, niece. It's it's his niece, and she first appeared in. I wonder if I have this book handy. Is the book handy? Is the book handy? Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Here it is. Here it is. First appearance is in Iron Patriot number one, and this is the one in 50 variant. So I just, yeah, just a little bit of uh, trivia for you. If it turns out to be true. <laughs> uh, I went to a show a couple weeks ago, and uh, let me show you what the hell oh you know what no 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 we're not doing that just yet i got this in the mail yesterday i got this in the mail yesterday before we get into the show stuff got this in the mail yesterday and uh we have a copy of turok son of stone or actually actually four color number 596 so this is the first appearance of turok son of storm son of stone but 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 if you came up in the 90s this is torok dinosaur hunter uh he made his re-intro 
in the uh, Valiant universe, and that's why I have been after this book for uh, quite some time. I've been after like a half decent copy. Every copy that I see is chewed up, spit out, and they want like five hundred dollars for it. I will say the flaw on this, if you can tell, uh, the boop, 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 the staple or the cover detached at the top staple. That is a pet peeve of mine, but I only paid $85 for this. I only paid $85 for this. I think it was like $100 total, including taxes. So uh, this book is really clean. Um, I, I from what I from what I could tell in the pictures, the staple wasn't detached, and it ha and I think it happened during the shipping process. Um, it, it, it was like you know the guy selling it. He was like a boomer. It seems like he was selling stuff out of his out of his basement, and I th he shipped it well enough. It didn't come in a bag and board. It came in like a it came in. Uh, a, a document sleeve you know like one of those clear document sleeves and uh, like cardboard and on, on the back so that should have been enough but I think it, I can see like a stress that was there that wasn't there in the picture so it must have like you know kind of popped the staple you know just popped the staple that stress there but for $85 I'm not gonna complain too hard I don't think I would be losing money you know what I'm saying but uh, yeah it's still a solid book I still love it I still I, I even though this is a pet peeve um, actually let's omit the even though uh, even though I do have this copy I guess I'm still <laughs> I still want to upgrade <laughs> Because this is a pet peeve. Anyway, um, yeah, but Torok, or Four Color, number 596. The, the book is still solid, though. All right, we're moving on. We're moving on. Uh, went to a show uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, here's what I found. Doctor Strange, number 176. I like the cover. I think that was around $15. I might have gotten it for less. Uh, Doctor Strange number 46. Doctor Strange number 46. Uh, Thor, God of Thunder number 7. All right, okay. That was a uh, cover price. Uh, some more superiors. Uh, 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 superior Iron Man uh, number 1 for cover price. Uh, New Avengers Illuminati number 1 for cover price. Roughly cover, yeah, it was cover price. Uh, Star Wars Tales of the Jedi. I forget what the hell's going on with this book. You know, just so it's so much going on with uh, with Star Wars stuff. I forget what first appearance that was. I really do. Uh, what's next? What's next? Ooh, here we go. We got set. We got some Sally Fourth action going on here, and uh, this is number six. And I noticed the this these are basically reprints from the late '60s um, series, but they 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 were they were four like really large tabloid size issues or treasury size books, and uh, the who who ever had the uh, rights to Sally Forth in the early '90s they chopped them all up and uh, gave different. Uh, artists their uh, take on the character when it came to the cover so they chopped up the individual stories and reprinted them and uh, put new colorful you know what no I'm not going to open this up what am I doing <coughs> Sally Forth number 6 uh, Sally Forth number 8 is the most expensive out of the bunch the Adam Hughes cover Doctor Strange number 81 first appearance of rock 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 uh, what's next what's next okay so we got some five dollar variants we got some five dollar variants going on here ultimate X number one does anybody remember when this book was super hot 
uh, th I want to say roughly, I want to say roughly six or seven years ago, this book was really hot. Uh, not so much anymore, but that's okay for five dollars. You got the foil variant. So this is the first appearance of Jimmy Hudson uh, Teen Wolverine, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, what's this book going for now? I forget I, I remember at the time this book was super hot and like all the variants surrounding it I uh, found another copy. I love this book. I love this book a lot got this for five bucks really happy about this Ninja Scroll number one, the Jim Lee variant. Good looking cover. Love it a lot. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ninja Scroll has some fans. Uh, okay, now this book is weird. This book is hella weird. So this is uh, X Men number one from 2010. X Men number one from 2010. This is the Marco Djurjevic variant. Now, this cover here, I've seen copies. So I, bought, I got this for five bucks. And what did I want to say about this? I, I, let's look this book up. Let's look this book up. I think, I think this book is worth looking up. X-Men 10, or number one from 2010. Uh, variant and we'll see what this book has sold for um, unfortunately there's like a ton of X-Men um, you gotta have to sift through in order to get and I and I really can't spell Jurjevic so <laughs> alright so okay so check this out check this out look at this look at this look how look at that and this is when this so this was around 2010 when vampires were hot, you know, like Twilight and all that kind of crap. But uh, yeah, so they were facing off against Dracula. Okay, look, check this out. Look at this, another copy. So this was a few days ago. Look at that. What the hell? What's going on with this? I don't know if it's a ratio, a cover B. You know what I'm saying? I just don't know. Uh, I mean, so we had a 9.8 that was a buy it now for 76 bucks. So it seems like that buyer got a really good deal. So this was earlier in the year. But yeah, man, this was this is a weird book. And I'm just not quite sure what's really... Oh, oh okay, all right, okay. I should have paid attention. So yeah, it's a 1 in 25 variant. So I guess I'll have to look up, I, I'm not gonna do it now, but I'll have to look up the print run on X-Men 1, which I'm pretty sure is, is, which I'm pretty sure is high, especially in 2010, and it's a tw one in 25, but yeah, man. I can't believe this book is going for it around 50 to 60 bucks. That's, woof, okay. Alrighty. Hulk number one, Hulk number one, uh, from 2008, this is the Michael Turner Wizard World Los Angeles variant. I got that for 20 bucks. Uh, Marvel Age number 86. I believe this was two dollars. And the main reason why I bought this is because Danny Ketch was on the cover. And this actually predates Marvel Age number 87, which predates Ghost Rider number one from 1990. So, yeah, all right. So this is the I guess you can call this a first comic appearance of of um, Danny Ketch's Ghost Rider. I guess you can say that. Mm -hmm. uh, what's next? Ooh, I like these beautiful Dave Stevens covers. Got these for a dollar a piece. Uh, DN Agents number 24. Dave Stevens cover and another Dave Stevens cover. Crossfire number 14. Or, I'm sorry, Crossfire number 12, uh, Dave Stevens' take on Marilyn Monroe. So, it, okay, so from what it looks like, our guy, our superhero here is a time traveler, and he went back in time to find Marilyn Monroe 
uh, dead because I think she died. I think she died naked or something like that. So that's what this looks like to me. That's what this looks like to me. This looks like he's uh, he's stumbled upon a crime scene there. All right, what's next? We got some more Doctor Strange. Uh, Pick this up for five dollars. Doctor Strange number six. First appearance of Mephista. First appearance of Mephista. You know what? I want to look this up. Let's see what this book is doing. Let's see. D R S T R A N G E number six. Doctor Strange six. What is this book going for? If anything. Uh, let's look at sold. And I know this book was a bitch to find. Um, oh, jeez, man. Come on, Mephista. M-E-P-H. Meph. I-S-T-A. T-A. T-A. All right. Okay, so we're seeing copies for... Nice high grade copies are selling for thirty one bucks. Uh thirteen to so roughly what twenty to thirty in high grade. But I know this book was really tough to find. Uh it took me about two months to find this. Uh this was a this book here was a gift from uh Dennis at uh, Wonder World Comics. He was at the show. He hooked me up with this. The Conan the Barbarian number one variant. Uh, This is the... uh, No, Conan the Barbarian number one facsimile. But it's a a cool movie poster variant. So thank you for that. Uh, Amazing. Oh, we got some more Amazing Spider-Man. And uh, speaking of Calypso, we have the first appearance right here. Got this for, I believe, 10 bucks. Uh, got a nice, got a nice half off deal there. And last but not least, here is a book that is super duper awesome. So we have uh, Adventures of Superman number four ninety eight, fourth print. Adventures of Superman four ninety eight, fourth print. I tell you what, let's look this up. Super and oh, but 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 it's a DC Universe logo variant. I swear these Death of Superman Funeral for a Friend DC logo books are a are awful to find. <laughs> okay, Super M A N Superman four ninety eight D C U N I V E R S E. Let's see if there's anything going on here, if there's any recent sales or anything like that. Uh, I can tell you. Let's see. Let's look up highest highest price. And okay. Uh whoa, wow, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Hmm. Or let's look up logo. Let's look up logo. And do we have anything? Okay, so there are there aren't actually sales, but there are listings. So we have one for one thirty five and another one for a hundred. So we got this one for twenty. I think that was a good deal, just because. Let's see if this has sold. If any sold, no, nah, doesn't look like it. But uh, yeah, this was a. I was really excited to have found this. Oops, sorry. Sorry for the glare. All right, so that's my haul. Uh, I'm sticking to it. And, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, see see you on the flip side. And see you in another haul. All right, bye.